Hi, I'm Scott Miller. I'm the VP of Product and Technology at Viking Mesa Global Packaging Technologies. And we're here today to demonstrate our ST1200 12 lane 37 millimeter stick pack machine. In this particular application, we're packaging three ounces of vodka pops into a 37 by 270 millimeter long stick. I'll start by pointing out the top of our process being a Heinsbach 12 lane volumetric liquid filler. In this particular case, we have six hoppers, each of which is feeding two lanes. As we continue down our process, you'll notice that our lances go inside of our tubes where we're slid into 12 individual lanes. The individual lanes form and come through what we call our vertical seal assembly. Uh, I'll point out that with our vertical seal assemblies, we have 12 individual temperature control zones. We do this for the purpose of having better temperature control with less temperature fluctuation, which leads to better seals and better efficiencies with less scrap. As we continue down in our process, what we enter into here is our cross seal assembly. This assembly is a drop bar assembly. It actually is servo driven and draws up and down in this particular case with a 270 millimeter long stick. It has a 270 millimeter long stroke. Once it completes its heat seal, it continues on down into our knife cutting station. Each individual lane with an individual knife cut leads you into our chutes that have individual stop gates. Uh, we do this for the purpose of getting alignment with all 12 lanes. As the um, sticks leave each of these 12 lanes, they'll continue on into what will eventually be sitting here as a side discharge conveyor. That side discharge conveyor will um, continue downstream and it will be counting our vodka pops into 12 counts that will eventually find their way into a carton. Um, I'll take this time to point out the construction of a Viking Masic machine. Again, this being our ST1200 machine, it is the largest of our stick pack offerings with the next size down being our ST800, followed by our 600, followed by our 400 models. You'll notice that the construction of our machines is stainless steel and clear anodized aluminum. We do this for the purpose of sanitation and robustness in our design. As we continue around the corner here, I'll point out um, our control system. In this particular case, we have a panel view 1500. Um, this is um, part of the control system that also includes a Compact Logix PLC and a Kinetics 5500 servo drive system. As we continue around the corner here, what you'll notice is, is we have a stainless steel enclosure um, that's vented for the possibility of some water that may come down from above, gives you a little bit of extra um, protection as far as a, a wet application is concerned. As we continue around the corner here, what you'll notice is, is it's our uh, film carriage. Um, it is enclosed for the purpose of protecting our film roll, uh, as well as giving you added safety. Um, Behind the doors here, what you'll notice is a rather large assembly. This is what we call our splice plate assembly. Uh, this is the point where when a roll expires, um, we close the two sides of the splice plate. We slit down the center and the tail of that falls down. Uh, we take the expiring roll out. We put a new roll in. We bring it back up to the splice table and then we tape our splice and complete that process. Once we start running, that splice will find its way all the way through to the slitters and it will be rejected at the output side of the machine. Um, at this point in time, if we take a look up, what you see here is, is this is where our liquid filling, um, our controls are as far as the amount of fill that goes into each stick. Um, we have an adjustment here as far as the handle is concerned, which is the adjustment for the stroke or the volumetric piston. Um, so obviously adjusting that in or out is giving you a larger fill or a smaller fill accordingly.
as we find our way around the machine. What you'll notice here is, is this is our pneumatic system. It's incorporated into the machine. Um, it actually has uh, mechanical fasteners to close it solid for safety purposes. Um, once we go inside the machine, what you'll see in here is this is our mechanical drive system. As I mentioned before, our servo drive jaws um, are one of two motors um, that you see in the system here. Um, we've chosen to go with servo drives with our stick pack machines for two reasons. One is the accuracy in which we're able to pull and repeat our film pulls. Um, second is that we're able to get more speed out of our machine as far as cycles go. We can cycle up to 45 cycles per minute um, depending on what the pull length is and what the actual dose is um, going into the sticks. As we come back around to the front here, um, this is the um, point at which we started. Um, what I'll point out is with this particular application, we're doing a liquid um, with our stick pack machines. We have the opportunity to do powders. We also have the opportunity to do individual component stick packs. Some of the applications that we have done are um, ballpoint pens individually wrapped in a stick as well as a uh, cigar um, or in the cannabis industry we've done individually rolled uh, cannabis. Um, that concludes our demonstration for today for our ST1200 12 lane 37 millimeter wide sticks. Thank you.